Hi, my name is Anna Nariba, and here's my story. I was born on January 21st, 1996, in San Diego, California. The day I was born, my mom was and still is Pentecostal. At the age of 14, me and my mom had the perfect mother and daughter relationship. Every time she would talk about our relationship to people, she would describe it clear as a crystal. I could have talked about anything to her. I was honest to her, and she would advise me about life all the time. Antes, pues, siempre hemos ido, íbamos a la iglesia. Era una niña buena. Clear as a crystal, meaning that she knew me inside out and saw right through me. There was nothing hidden between us. I am a niña que yo no, nunca pensé que pues que ella fuera a cambiar porque yo le enseñé buenos principios. Creció en una familia, en un hogar donde no habían peleas ni nada. Éramos una familia feliz. At the age of 16, our relationship went down the drain when I kept my first secret. It was that I found girls attractive. It was something I couldn't share with her because if I did, I wouldn't be that perfect girl anymore under her eyes. So I hid it for a year. During that year that I was hiding the secret, I was dating a girl named Mary Ellis. I took our relationship serious that I got tired of hiding it, which is what led me to confess. Yo pienso que afecta en la manera de que ha sido un muy duro para mí darme cuenta que ella es de esa manera que yo siempre la consideré que yo tuve una hija y para mí fue muy duro darme cuenta de que ella es de otro que ella tiene otras otras no sé como que ella es lesbiana my mom said things that would never be forgotten. And she talked to me like she was disgusted by me. She told me she never wanted to ever see me again. And she never ever talked to her and that since that day, I'm no longer considered her daughter. My dad was never really in the picture. My dad left when I was uh, 10 years old. And um, he tried to be in, like in my life, like probably when I was like 15. We talked for like a week, and then I didn't know about him again. But then, like around, like when I was like 16 already, out, and my mom knew what I was. Um, my father came in the picture. He um, he was trying to get back with my mom, and but we really didn't talk. I was just, like holding a grudge towards him. And he would call me and I would just be like, hi and bye. It was like, we didn't really didn't talk. Until one day we were talking on the phone, he called me and he tried to ask about my life. And all I said was that I'm gay and it's not going good. But even though I didn't have him in the picture, I still loved him very much. And one day my mother had a phone call that he got killed and I emotionally got destroyed. I needed, what I needed the most was a mom, a mom's warmth. I don't know, my mom to be there, but since we were going through all this, nobody was there. So most of the time I was isolated. I got to the age of 18. My dream was to get to the age of 18 because I knew I was legal to move out. I was legal to do a lot of things without my mom's permission. I moved out in June 2014. I moved in with my girlfriend. We got an apartment together. Uh, I work at Sonic. I have my own car. 
I'm pretty much living a good life by myself with my girlfriend. I have wonderful feelings. I feel free, I feel mature, I feel proud of myself. I feel loved and cared. I'm happy. So this video was pretty much made for everyone out there that's homosexual. You're gay, you're bisexual, anything you are, you shouldn't be ashamed of what you are. Uh, you should always keep your head up and move on in life. It doesn't end right there and then when people tell you that you shouldn't be that. You should just keep going forward, ignore what people have to say about you because you are who you are. And you can make yourself something, you can make something great out of it if you try. But if you give up right there and then, and then it's not, you're not gonna go far. Some people commit suicide because they're gay. Some people stay in the closet because they're scared to come out, but it's okay to come out. You just gotta keep your head up all the way. It's not gonna be easy. It's a roller coaster. But like I said, you make it far by yourself and you will find support later on in life.